There is great turmoil within Master Yoda. Yes. We all sensed it. For something to affect Yoda this deeply concerns me. We must keep an eye on our old friend. The war has taxed all of us to our limit. I suppose we're just surprised Master Yoda has one. I hope it's that simple, but I feel the shadow of something greater on our horizon. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Mace Windu, discussing their concern for Yoda not long afterwards, Yoda started behaving strangely, becoming noticeably distracted and thoughtful during meetings. This surprised and concerned Windu, who sensed great turmoil within Yoda. He voiced his concerns to Obi-Wan Kenobi in a private discussion, and they resolved to keep a closer watch on their old friend. Later, a noticeably uncertain Yoda revealed that he had spoken with the deceased Ki Gon Jin. However, everything the Jedi knew about the Force suggested that the ability to retain one's individuality after death was impossible, so the reactions from the Council ranged from concern to skepticism and suspicion. Though they meditated with Yoda for a whole day, they were unable to sense anything. After the failed meditation, Kiadi Mundi suggested that what Yoda was sensing could be a deception by the Sith. Kenobi refused to believe that Yoda could be susceptible to such manipulation, but Windu replied that, even as wise and old as he was, Yoda was not beyond the corruption of the dark side. The ancient Jedi Master agreed and submitted himself to medical examination. Windu, Kenobi and Mundi were told by Rig Nima that Yoda was in perfect mental health, even though he was approaching the 900th year of his life. Mundi, who was particularly skeptical of Yoda's claims, suggested the Dark Lord of the Sith could be using Yoda's connection to Dooku to manipulate him, but Kenobi vehemently rejected the idea, saying they all had been apprenticed to Yoda at one point or another. Before the discussion could go on, Nima suggested a deprivation ritual for Yoda to reach the source of the voice. During the procedure, Kenobi, Skywalker, Mundi, and Plo Koon watched over the small Jedi. Yoda managed to hear Jin's instruction to go to the Dagobah system before Kenobi noticed his vital signs were dropping too low and stopped the test. When Windu asked about the procedure, Kenobi told him that Yoda was sure he had contacted the dead. Mundi asserted that Yoda's claim was impossible, and again voiced his suspicion that Yoda was under attack by the Sith. More concerned than ever, Windu ordered temple guards to monitor all of Yoda's moves. However, the diminutive Jedi Master soon managed to escape with Skywalker's help and R2-D2's company, willing to go on a journey that would take him to Dagobah, a mysterious planet and Moraband, the ancient homeworld of the Sith. Immediately after Yoda's escape, a furious Windu confronted Skywalker, but the younger Jedi counted that, for once, none of what had occurred had been his idea. On Yoda's return to Coruscant, Windu and Kenobi greeted him, and Windu stated that the High Council was eager to hear Yoda's report, but the old Jedi Master claimed that there was not much to discuss. When Windu asked him if his journey had given him insight on how to win the war, Yoda told them that he was no longer certain that the Jedi could win the Clone Wars but that, through hope and perseverance, the Jedi would ultimately triumph over the Sith.